Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in bonus science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding employee bonus using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Amazon and NetSuite interviews over the past few years. Okay. Before moving into the video, I just want to share that I was out of the country for about a month. That is why the number of videos that you see are very few. But now I'm back in the country and videos will come regularly. If you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. Also, if you do not have LeetCore Premium subscription, do not worry. I'm going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can copy it into something like Jupyter Notebook and try the entire thing on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so we are given a table called employee with four different columns, employee ID, name, supervisor, and salary, and these are their data types. Employee ID is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table indicates the name and the ID of an employee in addition to their salary and the ID of their manager. Okay, we're also given a second table called bonus with two different columns, employee ID and bonus, and these are being their data types. Employee ID is the column of unique values for this table, and it is also a foreign key to the employee ID from the employee table, right? So basically this employee ID column and this employee ID column have the same values, right? And both these tables can be merged using this column, right? Each row of this table contains the ID of the employee and their respective bonus. We are asked to write a solution to report the name and bonus amount of each employee with a bonus that, which who has less than thousand dollars, right? Or thousand units. The order of the result does not matter. Let's go through this example, right? So here we have the employee table, four different employees and the bonus table. So name, employee ID, name, so who is their supervisor, right? And their salary. And these are their bonuses. So just by looking at it, right? So employee ID 2, employee ID 2 is uh, Dan and uh, the bonus is 500, right? So obviously less than 1000. So Dan should be in the output. And four is Thomas. Thomas has a salary of 4,000 and a bonus of 2,000, which is more than 1,000. So Thomas should not be in our output. Also, if you look at Brad and John, right? So we do not have anything in the bonus. So when you join these two tables, the bonus column will be populated null, right? So we can assume that they didn't get any bonus. So the bonus amount is less than 1,000. So they should also be in the output. So Brad, John and Dan should be in the output. And that is what we have in the output. So obviously, since this entire information is spread into two different tables, the first thing that we should do is we should merge this entire information and save this in a data frame. Let's call it DF and use pandas.merge. So we are merging the employee data frame with the bonus data frame. And since the name of the column we are merging on is same in both of these tables so we can simply go ahead and write on if it is not same we have you know talked about it you need to write left on and right on but here since the name is same we can simply go ahead and write on and how do we want to merge we are basically want to do a left join right so because we need to keep every employee in this even though their bonus is present or not in the bonus table right let me go ahead and return this data frame let's see what do we have here right now Okay, so this says wrong answer because it is not yet complete, but let's see. Okay, so our output now we have the employee ID, name, their supervisor, salary, and bonus. So just by looking at it, right? So we need to report all people whose bonus is less than 1000. So obviously Brad, John, and Dan should be in the output. So now from this, you can choose two routes. Either what you can do is you can do a Boolean indexing and say that keep only those rows where either your bonus is equal to null or your bonus is less than equal to thousand that is the first way of doing it secondly what you can do is you can basically do a drop right so what, what you can say is wherever your bonus is greater than or equal to thousand because we need to only keep where bonus is less than thousand so the opposite will be greater than or equal to thousand right so drop all the rows where your bonus is greater than equal to thousand right so these are the two ways of achieving the same result right so let me you know just share uh, the second method and let me know in the comment section how the solution will look like with the first method that i just shared right so basically what we are trying to do is let's drop it drop the rows where your bonus is greater than or equal to thousand so what you can do is you can simply do df dot drop and now the condition of dropping is basically okay so you take the data frame right that we got after merging the employee and bonus 
data frames right and take the uh, you know data frame and perform a bullet indexing in the bonus column right so bonus column if it is greater than equal to 1000 right what you do is you take their indexes right so you take that indexes and drop those indexes so rows each row has one unique index so what we are doing here is basically we are taking all the rows where your bonus is greater than equal to 1000 take those indexes and then drop it right let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now okay so now you have all the people and all their information where bonus is either null or less than 1000 right so basically less than 1000 so now we do not require everything we only need two columns in our output name and bonus so since this is returning a data frame we can just pass a list of columns column names that we need in the output so we need firstly the name and secondly the bonus part right let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it so we pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know we firstly merge the entire information into one particular data frame and then either you can you know keep rows where your bonus is null or less than equal to thousand but what we did we did the opposite which is the same as saying that drop all those rows where your bonus is greater than equal to thousand let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video